guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACODs. I'm glad that you guys could come along with us for the journey, and uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you take a look back at some of the previous videos and see what types of things we are uh, into here in Oak Mountain on our woodlot. So uh, tonight we thought that we'd come out to the woods, and we're looking for eastern white cedar. Now, uh, my dad's got a new sawmill, and he's been doing some sawing on it, and one of the types of trees that he's asked for is cedar logs. And we've heard that cedar saws out into beautiful wood and uh, can make some really nice fine furniture. And so we're going to try and get some logs, we're going to try and saw them out, and, and see what kind of material we get. Maybe there's an opportunity for us to sell some of this stuff down the road. But that's what we're up against tonight. Now a lot of the cedar around here tends to have a lot of butt rod in it and uh, it's not very good for sawing. Uh, so we're going to see um, what we end up getting. We've got some cedar that's high up on our side hills and uh, I think that cedar trees that are growing alongside of spruce and fir on the side hills probably has a better chance of being straight and true and a lot less butt rod in it compared to the cedar that you might get out of a swamp as an example. So we're going to go uh, select a couple of trees, we're going to look for some 10 foot logs, we're going to look for some 8 foot logs, and uh, nothing any smaller than 4 inch top because we want to be able to get the wane off of the logs and get down into some nice material. And we're going to see what we end up with. So uh, like I say, thanks for coming along with us and let's get at it. Okay, so I was doing a little scouting and I've got my eye on two cedar trees right in there. Now there's white birch that is leaning across in front of it. It looks like those trees want to fall this way. It looks like there's some red maple kind of growing up in between the two of them. So we're going to have, I think we're going to have our hands full to get those two trees out of there. But uh, we'll go at it and see how we do. I think we're going to have to take down some of this pin cherry on the right to make a hole for them to fall. Take down some of these white birch and uh, we're going to have our hands full. But you know, that's what we're here to do. So let's grab the old Husqvarna and uh, see if we can get a couple logs out of those trees. We're going to exercise the old uh, 545 tonight. Give it a chance to run a little bit. Okay guys, that's one down. You can see that I had to spend a few minutes just to clear a trail for this to fall uh, so that I had a chance to limit without wading more brush than I have to. I'm gonna bring you around now and we'll take a look at the other end of that and see if it's gonna make a log or not. Okay guys, so it looks like my suspicions were correct. That looks like a really nice sound log. And it's relatively straight. You can see a little bit of a sweep in it, but it's a pretty straight tree. So one thing I don't like about cutting cedar, and I haven't caught, cut a lot of it, but uh, 
This thing is about three or four feet up off of the ground. And if you take a look at the cedar limbs, let's bring you in a little bit closer. See those cedar limbs? They're big. They're two, three, four inches in diameter on that little tree. They, uh, they grow in every different direction and they're holding that tree up off the ground. So I'm gonna have to lug my saw up about uh, hip height just to limb this thing up. I'm not looking forward to it, but that's the job we've come to do. So we'll have to dig in. Okay guys, we got our 10 foot 6 log and we got a, like a 5 or a 6 foot piece down there and I know my dad can saw stuff down as short as 4 feet so we'll, uh, we'll take that as well. Maybe we'll get some really nice looking boards out of it. Okay so this is the second tree. I like the diameter of this tree. It's probably 9 to 10 inches but it's growing, uh, it's not perfectly symmetrical um, but that's okay. But take a look up of, up this tree. Nice and straight. Should be able to get another nice 10 footer. But look at all of those red maple intertwined with those big heavy branches on that cedar tree. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is take a bunch of this red maple down. And uh, normally, you know, I like to select cut and I like to leave some trees. But that red maple looks like perfectly good firewood to me. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. And we're going to get a little bit of firewood out of here tonight as well. Okay, let's keep going. Hey guys, let's get it loaded up.
Okay guys, not a bad little load of wood. It's not a full load, about a half a load. It's a mixed bag of tricks. I didn't know that I was gonna be cutting some red maple and white birch along the way, but uh, it was in the way, so we'll take it and uh, put it on the firewood pile. I got the cedar that we were after so that we can do some trial uh, boards on the sawmill to see what Eastern white cedar looks like sawed out. I hope it's gonna be nice. And uh, I think the next step is to get this over to the mill and then we'll bring the hardwood back and drop it off uh, on the firewood processor just because it's on the bottom. So let's see how that goes. So like I always say guys, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends and family and help us grow the channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. See you in the next one.